In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool write-on effect. If you're new here, I'm Ali. Will and I work on commercials, social media videos, and we release weekly YouTube videos all about editing in DaVinci Resolve as well as gear reviews. And coming up, we'll be sharing a video that will show you how to save hours and days editing. So subscribe to see that when it comes out. Now let's hop into Resolve. Now, if you're new or intimidated at all by Fusion, I would say this is a pretty good spot to start because it's not too complicated. So we're in the edit page. We have this background of some beautiful tropical trees that we're gonna have our write on effect show over. Let's go up to effects to open it up. Click on the search bar and type in adjustment. There it is, adjustment clip and drag that above your clip onto the V2 track. Just because I'm clumsy, I'm gonna lock the V1 track so I don't accidentally move it around. Okay, we have our playhead over our adjustment clip and we're gonna be using our adjustment clip in the Fusion page. Now, the reason I like using adjustment clips for this technique is because you can put them over your clip so that when you pop over to Fusion, like we'll do now, you'll be able to see the clip and the composition that is going to show underneath. I'm just gonna change this to full screen by clicking this viewer button. Let's click on this T, which is our text plus effect. When we do that, it's automatically brought down into our node graph and connected to a merge one node. Grab your text one node and just drag it above the merge one node. I just like to do that for organization. You can also move media in, media out if you want to straighten things up a bit. Okay. Click on the text one node to make sure it's selected and this will bring up our inspector and a text box that we can write in. In all capitals, let's write the word travel. Let's change the font to one that looks more handwritten. I like Masiku. I believe I downloaded it from dafont.com's website. Okay, and currently these letters are all super close together and some of them are even touching. That's gonna be a bit problematic when we're doing our write on effect. So where it says tracking here, move the tracking slider to the right to increase the space in between each of these letters like so. And we can also use the size slider, move it to the right to increase the size of our word. The next thing you wanna do on your keyboard is hit shift and the space bar. Doing that will bring up this window that lets you select lots of different tools. And let's search for mask paint. There it is. Press add, and that will be added on top of our text note here. And by default, selected. You may have noticed that our word disappeared. That's okay. In our inspector, let's select mask and choose invert. Now we wanna change our brush type to stroke, which we can do up here on the left by clicking this brush icon here. If you hover over it for a second, you'll notice it says stroke, select it. And we now have this little green circle that we're gonna use to paint over each of these letters. It's a little small right now. If you notice, you want it to be just a bit bigger than the thickest part of your letter. To adjust that, we'll go back over to the inspector, select controls, click the brush controls drop down menu and increase our size slider a bit. Let's just check. Okay, so now it's a bit bigger than the thicker part of the letter. I'm happy with that. And you wanna bring softness way down. It's just not needed. So let's drag it to the left as far as we can. We also want to click the stroke controls drop down menu where it says stroke animation. Click and choose right on. Awesome, okay. And now we can start writing or drawing over our letters. You wanna keep in mind that when you're doing this, do it in the pattern, I guess would be the word, in the style, in the way that you would actually handwrite the word. I'll start just below where the T is, click down. Go slow because if you make a mistake, you have to start from the beginning. And another thing, you don't wanna let go of your cursor until you're done. If you let go by accident, you're gonna have to start again. Oh, see, I kind of made a mistake here because I wanted to also include this in my brush stroke. So I'm going to press Command Z on my Mac, Control Z on a PC, 
to undo and start from the beginning. I'm gonna speed this part of the video up because you get the idea, but as you're actually doing it, go slower because then there's less chance that you'll accidentally draw your stroke over part of a letter that you didn't mean to. Okay, when we're done, we're gonna see all these little points and we cannot see our word again. Under mask, let's uncheck invert. Okay, there it is. Next, we wanna open our keyframes tab up, which brings all this fun info up. Let's click here on this little double arrow icon to zoom to fit so we can see everything. Click on the drop down menu that says mask paint one and stroke one. Okay, and end here shows all those same points that you can see above. Drag your cursor over all of them, which will turn them yellow. And we're gonna click on time stretch. This is a tool that allows you to shorten or increase the duration that animation occurs. Let's hover our mouse over the end here and you'll see these double arrows come up. So you can click and drag way inwards a whole lot. Okay, and now let's check this out. Awesome, so now you know how to create the write on effect in DaVinci Resolve. And on a side note, if you want to know our favorite drive, it's this one right here that we edit all of our videos off of because it's super fast, super portable, and super tiny. Or if you want to know any of the gear that we recommend and use on our commercial video shoots, as well as our YouTube shoots, then check out the description below. Ooh, and I just released a video showing five creative masking techniques, and one of them I've never seen taught anywhere, so check that video out next to learn my masking secrets. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you have a lovely day. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.